Isn't this now, Jonathan, about the Conservative Party re-evaluating what it actually is? Well, I think you're absolutely right. And the conversation I had with Boris after the um, vote uh, immediately after uh, was, you know, you have got to lay out a vision of how you see Britain in a post-Brexit and post-Covid era, uh, particularly in terms of making Britain 10% at least more competitive than Europe and America in regulation and in tax. And I think it, he, he was going to do that, but he met an impasse with the Treasury and with Rishi Sunak, and uh, the, the, it was becoming a battle. And that, in a sense, possibly was the start of the resignation process, which has ended up in this really awful tragedy, in a sense, of um, Caesarian well, proportions. Sort of psychodrama, wasn't <laughs> yeah. it, by last yeah. night? Yeah. You know? I mean, uh, Julius Caesar has got had nothing it easy on me compared to this. <laughs> no, that's right. But oh. I remember Boris, when I went to see him uh, after the vote, he thought he said to me, are, are you the man in grey suit coming to tell me? I said, no, I'm not. I'm really here to, because we're friends, you know, and I, I, yeah. I, I'm a Tory loyalist, and, and um, I don't speak ill about any of our prim prime ministers uh, uh, openly. But uh, he said to me, um, oh, this vote is nothing compared to what happened in Greek times, <laughs> where there were votes every other week. So he's got a great sense of history, that. Jonathan, just on a human level, yeah. how's he going to be feeling? Well, obviously, he had ambition uh, way beyond uh, this very short period. Um, he, he is devastated, clearly. Uh, he was amazingly upbeat today. I wouldn't have been so upbeat that he, he was. was. And that yeah. is actually, you know, his personality, is, is, as you know as well as I do, Nigel. He's, mm. he's incredibly energetic, yeah. very positive. Upbeat, unapologetic. Yeah. <laughs> and, and that was Boris Johnson, I guess, all and, over. And, and you're completely right. That's him. And that is, what, that is the appeal of him. And if uh, he hadn't been dogged by the awful COVID and uh, the terrible times that we've been through... Um, well, maybe if he told he, the truth a bit more, it might have been helpful. Well, he could have... Uh, no, I mean, he, 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 when when you're caught, you know, making a mistake or getting in trouble, if you put your hands up and say sorry, yeah. people generally forgive you. Yes. He couldn't do that, could he? Well, he did, but not necessarily in the right order, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> That's the old Eric Morgan joke, isn't it, <laughs> yeah, about playing exactly, the piano? Exactly. Jonathan, thank you very much indeed.